Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Tuesday here at Norman's Rare Guitars. Woo! Yes, and while we don't have a telly today, we have a really, really cool guitar. Probably mm -hmm. one of my favorites I've played in this, um, this type of guitar. <laughs> but uh, it's been a crazy day. Yes, it uh, has. A lot of people coming in through the shop. We love seeing them. And, uh, and this weekend I got to go uh, see a football game. I had a great time. Yes, you did. It was... I had too much fun. <laughs> I was getting crazy at, at SoFi Stadium. And it's I love both cool. teams, by the way. I Don't love all lie. teams. Don't I do, lie. I do, I do, I do. I mean, I know people are like, man, this guy's a little crazy with this eagle thing, but <laughs> I love them all, I love them all. All right, all right, we'll I'll believe you. We'll see what happens Super Bowl happens. <laughs> but a really, really cool guitar. So this one came in today, it came in from one of our really good friends. Um, it's a 1967 Gibson SG Jr. in sparkling burgundy and Ooh. metallic. So really, really cool color and also just a great playing guitar. Um, has the arm, which is really cool. We just put it on before the video. Um, we're going to utilize that arm. It has one volume, one tone knob with the witch hat knobs and uh, one P90. Um, I love the guard on this guitar too, but one of the things that's really cool is that neck. Um, it's got kind of narrowed towards the nut and gets a little bit um, chunkier towards the heel, but man, you have access all the way up. So if you want to do anything high, oh, I can't believe you said that. But if you want to play high, God damn it. let's try it again. Okay. If you want to bend there you go, the there. high register. There you go. There it is. While being high. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this is a great guitar for that. Yes. No, this guitar is a machine. Straight to the point. Really cool checking, too. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It's almost like an orangish kind of red. Yeah, I see. Really, it. really cool. Kind of reminds me of this uh, special jazz master we had that went kind of orange from Norm's Warehouse. But look at that checking. And even look at the neck, that's where you really see that burgundy yeah, kind of color. Um, but this neck is so amazing. I love how slim it is even when the the neck uh, meets the body. The heel is just, it's like aerodynamic. You can get way up there. And the bar, I'm usually not, um, these bars can be hit or miss, but this one actually does a lot, um, a lot, and it stays in tune. Um, so really cool guitar. Um, this isn't the original case, but still a good Gibson case, protects it. Um, but this just came in today. Everybody's already looking at it, so I had to do it before somebody uh, jumps on it. But I think uh, anybody who gets this is gonna, this is like a lifer guitar. Um, it just fit, fits like a glove and uh, is straight to the point. So uh, we're gonna take it out front and uh, see what we can do. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Woo. We're out front with the 1967 Gibson SG Jr. in a rare sparkling burgundy metallic. Really, really cool guitar. Has a great feel and straight to the point. Uh, we're also going through a Fender Super Reverb amp, uh, starting off on just that one pickup. Let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
have it from 1967. It's a Gibson SG Junior and a rare sparkling burgundy metallic, really cool guitar. Straight to the point, one of my favorites I've played in the junior area. Um, you can check them all out at normansdrayguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. I'll see you soon. Bye. That was awesome. Hell yeah. Cool Hell yeah. Check them all out. <laughs>